Chapter 151, The Four Great Factions You dare! As he gazed at the sword suddenly shoot towards Gu Yan, a chill flashed across Yu Shan's heart before it turned to red-hot rage. If he was not able to stop Lin Dong even after he had interfered, in the future, who would dare to join hands with the Blood Wolf Gang? Yu Shan was extremely experienced, while the shout left his mouth, his palm ferociously swatted out, as pure Yuan Gang energy gushed forth, tearing through the air to furiously slap at the sword. The powerful pure Yuan Gang energy forcefully caused the trajectory of the sword to deviate. Although Lin Dong's actions were exceedingly unexpected, Yu Shan was still after all rather powerful. As he gazed at the sword which had been jolted off course, Lin Dong's eyes flashed as the sword turned. The sharp blade seemed to transform into a dazzling flash as it swept towards Gu Yan's arm like lightning. Chi! The ear-piercing sound of a sword entering flesh quietly echoed out in the plaza as it flew while leaving behind a trail of blood and a cut-off arm. Ah! A scream also rang out in that instance. As they gazed at Gu Yan, who was hugging the remains of his cut-off arm, a chill arose in everyone's hearts. No one had believed that with Yu Shan personally interfering, Gu Yan would still lose an arm. Though he kept his life, with this kind of injury, Gu Yan's power would definitely drop. The might of the Ghost Blade sect hinged upon Gu Yan's strength, once he received a heavy injury, the reputation of the Ghost Blade sect would definitely plunge. You bastard, I will definitely slaughter you today. As he gazed at this scene, Yu Shan's eyes turned scarlet. The sole of his foot abruptly stepped off the ground as his body violently dashed forward, transforming into an arrow, which flew towards Lin Dong. An extremely overwhelming Yuan power undulation burst out from the former's body. Humph, Yu Shan, are you really going to treat me as if I don't exist? Upon seeing that Yu Shan wanted to use his full strength against Lin Dong, Xia Wanjin's expression turned frosty as his figure flashed and appeared in front of Lin Dong. Though a perfect Yuan Dan stage expert could not fly, he was capable of floating for short bursts of time. Xia Wanjin, get lost. Yu Shan was clearly furious at Lin Dong's actions, when he saw Xia Wanjin step in, Yu Shan not only refused to retreat, but even shouted out in a stern voice. In response to his shout, Xia Wanjin merely snorted. Bright Yuan power frantically gathered on his hands before he straightaway punched out. MMMM. As this fist punched out, an ear piercing sonic boom rang out in the skies. The formidable pressure of the Yuan power spread out in the air, causing quite a few people's expressions to turn concentrated. Bang! In response to Xia Wanjin's move, Yu Shan also abruptly punched out. Both fists interweaved in midair, emitting a tremendous noise as a terrifying Yuan power undulation erupted. In the end, the crowd watched as the two figures were pushed a dozen steps back before finally landing on the ground. As perfect Yuan Dan stage experts, and also opponents who had fought countless times, it was evidently rather difficult to decide the victor. Sect leader Yu Shan, there is no need to be so furious. We already agreed not to interfere beforehand, why did you, as she gazed at the dark expression on Yu Shan's face? Xian So covered her mouth as she laughed and said. The corners of Yu Shan's eyes twitched for a moment, he stared at Lin Dong, who was in midair, as he spoke in a bitter voice, Brat, weren't you a little too merciless? Lin Dong's figure gently descended from the sky, after hearing Yu Shan's words, he could not help but chuckle, Sect leader Yu Shan, righteous people need not beat about the bush, you should know that if I did not defeat Gu Yan today, perhaps my fate would not be as simple as losing a mere arm right. This battle was originally not a friendly bout, there was no need for mercy and compassion. However, to indulge one's enemy was to ask for trouble. As newcomers, if the Lin family did not display some truly ruthless methods to intimidate these restless people, they would definitely encounter an endless stream of troubles in the future. Thus, merciless methods were a must. Yu Shan's expression was dark, he naturally knew of this principle, but because Lin Dong had secretly chopped off one of Gu Yan's arms while fighting with the former, it had undoubtedly hurt Yu Shan's reputation. 
If you don't give me an explanation for today's matter, even if the Thousand Gold Association steps in, I, Yu Shan, guarantee that I will first wipe out your Lin family. Yu Shan's tone was heavy with malice, today's matter had damaged his prestige, if he did not do anything to fix it, perhaps, he would become a laughing stock in future. He would not be able to tolerate such a thing. Furthermore, he had the confidence that even if the Lin family had the aid of the Thousand Gold Association, if they truly fought, given the strength of his Blood Wolf gang, they could definitely completely wipe out the Lin family like a thunderbolt. Lin Dong eyes wore an indifferent expression and he did not reply. He raised his palm as four swords floated before him. His actions were clear, there was nothing to talk about, but if Yu Shan wanted a fight, Lin Dong was ready. Good. Upon seeing Lin Dong's actions, Yu Shan's face turned increasingly white. Anyone could tell that he was already at his limit. Swish. Behind him, many of the Blood Wolf gang troops also sensed Yu Shan's murderous aura as they quietly raised the weapons in their hands, which reflected a cold, glaring light. At this sight, the men from the Thousand Gold Association and the Lin family also gripped onto the swords in their hands. The atmosphere in the plaza had turned extremely intense in a flash. When saw that a war was about to break out, the other surrounding factions hastily backed away, afraid that they would be embroiled in the killing. That would truly be unfortunate. Clatter clatter. Just as the battle was about to start, the urgent clatter of horse hooves was suddenly heard from outside the plaza. The crowd watched as a black flood swiftly galloped over before finally coming to a halt just outside the plaza. Under the rays of the sun, the light reflected off the black helmets and armor seemed a little cold. The city governor's black armored guard. Why are they here? Didn't the city governor overlook this place? As they gazed at the superior equipment, one look was enough to tell them that these were trained soldiers. The crowd in the plaza was alarmed as whispers sounded out. The sudden arrival of these black armored guards also caused Lin Dong, Xia Wanjin, and the rest to be stunned. The hostile atmosphere in the plaza also dissipated as a result. Yu Shan, in any case, you are considered one of the old timers in Yan City, why hold a grudge against this youngster? While the crowd was astonished, an elderly figure sat atop a black horse as he walked out from the black armored guards and said with a smile on his face. Grandmaster Yan. Upon seeing that familiar figure, Lin Dong could not help but smile. Grandmaster Yan Xian, this is a grudge between my Blood Wolf gang and the Lin family, I hope that you do not interfere. Yu Shan replied in a low voice. Lin Dong has helped my Yan City Symbol Master Guild protect and keep the Symbol Master Tower. This can be said to be a huge debt, this old man is not an ungrateful person, if the Lin family is in trouble. My Yan City Symbol Master Guild will definitely not sit still. Grandmaster Yan said in an indifferent manner. When Grandmaster Yan's words were spoken, it undoubtedly drew an uproar in the plaza. Some knowledgeable people knew how powerful the Symbol Master Guild was, their strength did not lose out to the top three factions in Yan City. However, they usually remained neutral and would very rarely appear to aid another. Yu Shan's expression likewise turned extremely ugly after hearing Grandmaster Yan's words. Never did he expect that the always neutral Symbol Master Guild would actually so bluntly aid Lin Dong. If this was so, wouldn't it mean that, behind this tiny Lin family, now stood two factions that were not the slightest bit weaker than the Blood Wolf Gang? Once he thought about the Thousand Gold Associations and the Symbol Master Guild's combined strength, Yu Shan's heart involuntarily trembled. If he started a battle against these forces, the end result for the Blood Wolf Gang would not be good. I think we should forget about today's matter, let the Ghost Blade sect return the Yang Yuan stones they had stolen to the Lin family. A little friendliness does wonders for everyone, don't you agree, sect leader Yu Shan? Grandmaster Yan chuckled as he said. Yu Shan's face twitched as his gaze turned gloomy, but he did not reply. He was clearly extremely discontented with this outcome. Sect leader Yu Shan, everyone knows who started this matter. Let the Ghost Blade sect hand over all the stolen Yang Yuan stones to conclude this. If this continues, 
it will not be a good thing for the Blood Wolf Gang. While Yu Shan was silent, a clear voice suddenly sounded out from beside Grandmaster Yan. A figure wearing black armor trotted forward on a horse. This figure was rather slim and even the black armor was worn especially gracefully. One could tell in a single look that there was definitely a slender and soul-stirring figure under that black armor. I hope that sect leader Yu Shan can stop finding trouble with the Lin family in future on account of the city governor. City governor. Upon hearing these words, Yu Shan's expression finally changed. The numerous surrounding factions also cast stupefied gazes towards the graceful figure. Though there were three top factions in Yan City, everyone knew that the faction truly in control was the city governor. They were the rulers and government of the city. Although they usually maintained order in the city, no one would doubt the city governor's strength. Like the symbol Master Guild, they would seldom interfere in struggles between the various factions. Situations like today, very rarely occurred. These two words caused the plaza to turn a little quieter, shock surfaced in many of the shrewder people's hearts. There were now three top factions standing behind a single Lin family, the city governor, the Thousand Gold Association and the Symbol Master Guild. What in the world was this? If these three factions joined hands, even the Blood Wolf Gang would be completely destroyed in mere days. Such a frightening guy. Some gazes which used with fear looked towards Lin Dong. Within the Lin family, who else besides him could have lined up such a terrifying team? However, what they did not know was that while they were startled, Lin Dong was also a little lost as he looked towards the graceful figure in black armor. The symbol master guild arriving to aid the Lin family was not out of his expectations, but as for the city governor, he had not interacted with them before. While Lin Dong was at a loss, the slim figure in black armor also reached out a lily white hand and gently removed her face armor, revealing a face that was pretty, yet as cold as ice and frost. Chapter 152, Ah! Ziyu. When he saw this familiar, ice-cold yet pretty face, Lin Dong was stunned. From Ziyu's position, it was clear that she was the one in charge of this group of black-armored guards. Hehe, <laughs> Ziyu is the Yan city governor's daughter. While Lin Dong was puzzled, Grandmaster Yan smiled as he approached and explained. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong suddenly understood. No wonder he had felt that those people at the Symbol Master Guild were extremely respectful towards Ziyu. It turns out that it was because she also possessed this important position. Over this period of time, all of my attention had been on the Symbol Master Tower and I did not know much about what was happening outside. Initially, I had even promised to settle the trouble between your Lin family and the Blood Wolf Gang. Grandmaster Yan's voice was a little apologetic. After he found out about the situation, he had immediately rushed over. As for Ziyu bringing the black armored guard, that was her own idea. After all, the Blood Wolf Gang was no ordinary faction, without some substantial show of force, given Yu Shan's character, perhaps he would not be willing to let the matter go. In response to Grandmaster Yan's apology, Lin Dong smiled as he shook his head, showing that he did not really mind. The fact that they were able to rush here to help at this time was already more than enough. In a short few months, this brat has actually roped in the Thousand Gold Association, the Symbol Master Guild and the City Governor. As he stared at the three tremendous forces which stood behind Lin Dong, even for someone who was as strong as Yu Shan, a sense of helplessness surfaced in his heart. He had always thought that the Lin family would be unable to withstand a single blow, yet, the sight before him caused him to understand that in the future, the Lin family would likely become one of the great factions in Yan City that cannot be provoked. With the backing of three great factions, combined with Lin Dong's astonishing talent, one could imagine the future potential of the Lin family. Although Yu Shan strongly resisted the coming of that day in his heart, at this moment, he also understood that this Lin Dong before him, was no longer the same passerby that Yu Shan believed he could easily and conveniently dispose of. Yu Shan deeply breathed in as the dark expression on his face swiftly disappeared. Next, a smile once again appeared as he clasped his hands towards Ziyu and chuckled, 
since even Miss Ziyu has personally made an appearance, if Yu Shan still does not give in, it would not be very tactful. It would not benefit the Blood Wolf Gang if he continued to force this matter. After all, though the Blood Wolf Gang was powerful, they were not stronger than the combined forces of the city governor, the Thousand Gold Association and the Symbol Master Guild. Since he was no longer able to force this matter, he could only back off. After spending so many years in Yan City, Yu Shan very clearly understood the principle, where there is life, there is hope. The most difficult things to deal with were not vicious wolves but the hidden poisonous snakes. Since the Lin family has Lin Dong, they truly cannot be touched. Upon seeing that even Yu Shan was forced to accept this situation, the other factions in the plaza looked to each other as they secretly sighed in their hearts. They very clearly understood that it would be best to forge good relations with the Lin family in future. Hee <laughs> hee, little brother Lin Dong is truly a heroic youngster. So young and yet you've already reached this step. Perhaps it will not be long before you take over the spot of the strongest in Yan City. At that time, no one would be able to touch the Lin family. Yu Shan walked forward, all smiles as he said. He appeared particularly kind, as if the merciless and ruthless actions from before had never existed. Lin Dong chuckled, he could hear the provocation in that guy's words. Immediately, he softly replied, Sect leader Yu Shan is such a flexible person, I just know that he will accomplish big things. As for today's matter, I do hope that you will not bear a grudge against us. Lin Dong's words directly put the three great factions into the same camp and it went without saying that also pitted them against Yu Shan. The smile on Yu Shan's face turned a little stiff, but soon after, he quickly recovered. He did not expect that Lin Dong would already have such a way with words at this young age. No no, the fault this time lies with the Ghost Blade sect. Worry not, little brother Lin Dong, the first thing I will do after I return is make them return all the Yang Yuan stones they had stolen. Yu Shan chuckled before clasping his hands towards Ziyu and the rest, since today's matter has been settled, I will not linger any further. Miss Ziyu. If you have the time, please send my regards to the city governor. Ziyu nodded her snow white chin, in response, Yu Shan no longer lingered as he turned to leave. While he turned, the smile on his face faded as in a cold light flashed deep in his eyes. Today, nearly all his face was gone. Go. As he stepped past Gu Yan, his gazed at the latter's extremely sorry figure and could not help but curse, useless thing. If Gu Yan was able to kill Lin Dong in their exchange previously, this matter would not have developed to this stage. The reason why the city governor, the Thousand Gold Association and the Symbol Master Guild had aided the Lin family was all related to Lin Dong. As long as Lin Dong died, these relationships would no longer exist, and they would not have risked war with the Blood Wolf Gang to help out. Of course, though he cursed Gu Yan, Yu Shan still waved his hand and indicated for the Ghost Blade sex men to carry Gu Yan away. Without further ado, Yu Shan led the Blood Wolf Gang as they a little raggedly escaped the plaza. As they gazed at the Blood Wolf Gang which seemed to retreat like the tide, the surrounding factions also no longer dared to stay. They hastily left, afraid that Lin Dong would remember them and find trouble for them. Thus, in a few short minutes, the originally noisy and crowded plaza became much emptier. This time, it's all thanks to the three of you. Upon seeing the crowd withdraw, Lin Dong sighed in relief. He turned and clasped his hands towards Ziyu, Grand Master Yan, and Xia Wanjin as he sincerely said. He he, I didn't expect that you had already moved so many people. Xia Wanjin chuckled. Truth be told, he was rather in awe of the fact that the Symbol Master Guild and the City Governor had come to their aid. Although Grand Master Yan was usually quite close to their Thousand Gold Association, if the Thousand Gold Association truly went to war with the Blood Wolf Gang, the Symbol Master Guild would most likely maintain their neutrality. As for the City Governor, it would perhaps be even more so. Yet, today, for a single Lin family, these two neutral faction in Yan City had appeared to help at the same time. This kind of thing rarely occurred over the past few years. 
This Lin Dong is no ordinary person, Xian Su's judgment is indeed sharp, while feeling odd, Xia Wanjin was also glad and thankful that their Thousand Gold Association had some ties with Lin Dong. Grand Master Yan laughed as he said, My Yan City Symbol Master Association owes Lin Dong a huge debt. Even if I did not appear this time, the other symbol masters would have come. Father said you are worth helping. Ziyu took one look at Lin Dong as she said in an indifferent manner. Her words caused Lin Dong to be stunned. He unable to figure it out, he seemed to have yet to met that mysterious city governor right? Hehe. <laughs> City Governor Ning has heard of your performance in the Symbol Master Tower and your capabilities. In several years, perhaps even becoming a Soul Symbol Master would not be a problem. A Soul Symbol Master is worthy for him to curry favor with in advance. Grand Master Yan smiled as he said. Soul Symbol Master. Upon hearing these three words, Xia Wanjin's expression turned a little blank for a moment. Soon after, looked towards Lin Dong in shock. A soul symbol master was comparable to a three creation stage practitioner, even in the entire Great Yan Empire, that kind of strength was considered first class. If Lin Dong was truly able to reach that stage, it would really be worth it for the city governor to personally step forward. If Yu Shan knows about this, he would likely regret incurring a grudge with the Lin family. Grand Master Yan thinks too highly of this young one who can know what will happen in the future. Lin Dong chuckled and did not speak too much on this matter. After chatting for a while, Ziyu was the first to leave, bringing the black armored guard with her, while Grand Master Yan and the Thousand Gold Association also retired one after another. Let's go, we should also return. Upon seeing that everyone had left, Lin Dong also turned his head and smiled towards Lin Zhentian and the rest. As he watched Lin Dong, Lin Zhentian could not help but let out a bitter laugh. Originally, their Lin family seemed to have no choice but to give in, yet, the former had reversed the situation and instead caused the Blood Wolf Gang to beat a hasty retreat, and furthermore, not dare be even the least bit discontent about it. It truly fortunate that my Lin family has such a grandson. Lin Zhentian deeply sighed. On that wrinkled and aged face, uncontainable pride and gratification could be seen. This originally extremely intense situation had ended in such a mild way. Not only did the overbearing Blood Wolf Gang and Ghost Blade sect not achieve their goals, they had instead lost face. When news of this matter spread, it caused waves in Yan City like expected. Only now did the onlookers understand that this newcomer in Yan City actually possessed such terrifying capabilities. Of course, they also clearly understood that the one behind all this, was only a youngster that was not even 20 years old. Regardless, after such a matter had occurred, there would no longer be anyone in Yan City who would dare to find trouble for the Lin family. After all, even the Blood Wolf Gang had failed, how could others dare to try? Using the Blood Wolf Gang and the Ghost Blade sect as stepping stones, Lin Dong had thoroughly shown his methods. Henceforth, the Lin family's position in Yan City would become extremely stable and none would dare to challenge them again. Chapter 153, Terminus Devil Body In the Lin family backyard, within a secluded small courtyard, a figure sat as still as a statue. Around him, the air rippled as portions of Yuan power bubbled out. Under the suction force emitted by his body, the Yuan power was completely absorbed. On the figure's palms was an alternating black and white pearl, which was also slowly spinning. Streams of exceptionally pure and potent energy gushed out from within as it endlessly poured into the danchen within the body. This quiet cultivation lasted for about two hours, before the figure's tightly shut eyes slowly opened. Yuan power cultivation is indeed more difficult compared to mental energy. Lin Dong mumbled to himself. Currently, his mental energy had already reached the third seal symbol master level, yet his Yuan power was still stuck at the initial Yuan Dan stage. Although this was due to the events in the symbol master tower, when he compared the two, the progress of his Yuan power was indeed a little slow. At this speed, I will perhaps need a few months to reach the advanced Yuan Dan stage. Lin Dong's eyebrows slightly furrowed, with regards to this pace, 
he was rather unsatisfied. However, if these words were heard by Lin Zhentian, he would likely vomit a mouthful of his old blood. Normally, one would spend several years to advance from the initial Yuan Dan stage to the advanced Yuan Dan stage. Lin Dong had only stopped at this stage only for a few months, if even this was slow, what would everyone else do? Brother Lin Dong While Lin Dong was trying to figure out how to increase the pace of his Yuan power cultivation, a girl in green suddenly dashed into the small courtyard. A little disappointment could be seen on her delicate face. Still unable to absorb Yang energy. Upon seeing Qing Tan's appearance, Lin Dong's eyebrows once again tightly knitted together as he said. Yet. Yeah. Qing Tan nodded her head. Ever since she had advanced to the heavenly Yuan stage, the swift growth of her strength had came to a halt. In the end, what caused her to be disappointed was that no matter how she tried to absorb Yang energy, she was unable to achieve even the slightest success. When the Yang energy entered her body, it would be devoured by the terrifying Yin energy within her. Faced with this situation, even Lin Dong was rendered useless. Qing Tan's constitution was somewhat special, her innate Yin energy was too potent. Logically speaking, once one is able to reach the step of harmonizing Yin and Yang, one would be able to condense a Yuan Dan. Yet, Qing Tan's circumstances meant that she would likely be unable to form a Yuan Dan for her whole life. Let me think of an idea, no need to worry. Lin Dong indulged Qing Tan as he stroked her small head. Okay. Oh, by the way, father has broken through to the initial Yuan Dan stage a few days ago. Grandpa and the rest were practically leaping with joy. To Qing Tan, Lin Dong's words were akin to the final decision. Immediately, the disappointment on the little girl's face dissipated, she believed that as long as Lin Dong said it, there was nothing that he would be incapable of solving. Oh, father has finally reached the initial Yuan Dan stage. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong was pleasantly surprised, though it was not out of his expectations. After all, that Yin Yang Pearl was enough to achieve this. Qing Tan smiled as she nodded her head. She playfully accompanied Lin Dong for a while before skipping away as she left. As he gazed at the girl's lively figure, the smile on Lin Dong's face grew even wider. Over this period of time, the Lin family was finally at peace. In Yan City, even the Blood Wolf Gang no longer dared to do anything to the Lin family. After Lin Dong had showed his strength and revealed that the three great factions support, even Yu Shan was now a little fearful. If he was not assured of success, that crafty guy would not dare to take any rash actions against the Lin family. Over this peaceful period, the Lin family's strength had quietly risen. Lin Xia, Lin Hong and the rest of the younger generation members had successively advanced to the heavenly Yuan stage. The Lin family's current wealth was enough to allow their cultivation speed to increase several fold. Everything was moving in a favorable direction. Sai. I had better think of a way to solve Ching Tan's problem. Lin Dong scratched his head, throwing out all the useless thoughts in his mind. Soon after, his expression turned concentrated, ever since he had found out about Ching Tan's problems, he had looked through several books about yin-related constitutions, but, he did not manage to find anything helpful. This girl's constitution is really quite special. While Lin Dong muttered to himself, a glowing shadow condensed on his shoulder as the small Martin appeared. It gazed in the direction Ching Tan had disappeared in, as if it was thinking of something. Yet, yeah, Ching Tan seems to have some kind of yin constitution. Lin Dong chuckled as he said. TCH, unknowledgeable brat, this girl does not possess some rubbish yin constitution. If this grandfather Martin is not wrong, it should be the terminus devil body. The small Martin's lips slanted downwards in disdain as it said. Terminus devil body. Lin Dong was stunned, but he knew that this small Martin was indeed a lot more knowledgeable than him. Quickly, he hurriedly asked, tell me more. Some special things eventually appear in the world. This terminus devil body is regarded as a type of extremely tyrannical yin body. Other kinds of yin-natured bodies are perhaps able to absorb yang energy and proceed the fuse the energies, but, 
this terminus devil body is different, no yang energy is able to exist in this body, extremely tyrannical. The small Martin explained. How can this be resolved? Lin Dong very carefully inquired. Continue absorbing various kinds of yin energy, the more potent it is, the better. The small Martin grinned and said, you wanted her to continue absorbing yang energy in hopes of neutralizing the yin energy in her body. This was extremely foolish. It is impossible to neutralize the yin energy in her body, and she is cannot condense a yuan dan like ordinary people. If that is so, won't Ching Tan's cultivation be stuck at this stage? Lin Dong's expression changed as he said in a low voice. The terminus devil body is not so useless, although she is unable to condense a yuan dan, she can instead condense a yin dan. The so-called yuan dan is formed through the fusion of yin and yang energy, while the yin dan is purely made up of yin energy. In addition, the yin energy in this girl's body is known as, terminus devil chi and this kind of chi can be condensed into a dan. Ha <laughs> ha, its might is truly somewhat frightening. The small sable clicked its tongue as it let out a weird laugh. Truth be told, a pure yin dan or yang dan would be a little stronger than the ordinary yuan dan. But, these are unique to people with certain special constitutions, an ordinary person would be unable to condense them. Astonishment revealed itself in Lin Dong's eyes, evidently, this was the first time he had heard that, besides the Yuan Dan, there were actually so many other Dan cultivation methods. Instruct that girl not to absorb Yang energy in the future and think of ways to give her some Yin energy. It is said that this kind of Yin Dan formation still requires a special method. However, I am not too clear about this matter. Some of the bigger sects would perhaps possess them, and they are also most fond of these kinds of pure yin or pure yang seedlings, the little Martin lazily explained. Many thanks. Upon hearing this, Lin Dong also lightly nodded his head as he thanked the Martin. The small Martin waved its claws as its figure faded into nothingness. Over this period of time, it had appeared more and more frequently and it seemed to be more open with Lin Dong. Pure yin energy this will not be easy to find. Lin Dong softly sighed as he engraved this information in his heart, before walking out of the small courtyard and turning towards the courtyard Lin Xiao occupied. Father. As he had anticipated, Lin Dong found Lin Xiao seated in a stone pavilion within that courtyard. Immediately, he smiled as he walked over and called out. It's Dong Yar. Upon seeing Lin Dong, a smile surfaced on Lin Xiao's face. Happiness filled his eyes as he gazed at the youngster before him. Ever since he had been beaten and crippled, his only hope was to nurture a talent for the Lin family. The heavens would not abandon a resolute person, in the end, he had succeeded, furthermore, this person was not merely a talent, but, a true genius. The Lin family had practically relied solely on Lin Dong as they successfully moved from Qingyang town to Yan city. Father, have you recovered from your injuries? Lin Dong poured a cup of tea for Lin Xiao as he smiled. Yes, I've completely recovered. Now, I've also finally advanced to the initial Yuan Dan stage. Lin Xiao chuckled as he nodded his head. He gazed at the youngster before him as he turned silent for a moment before suddenly speaking. There are only about two years until the Lin clan gathering. Lin Dong was slightly taken aback as his expression turned a little icy. He had recalled the person who had caused Lin Xiao to become extremely despondent for several years, and in response, also mother to wash her face with tears because of Lin Xiao's despondency. This was also the first person Lin Dong had hated in his life. Lin Lang Tian the one known as the most remarkable and outstanding genius of the Lin clan over the last hundred years. Dong Yar, returning to the inner circle of the Lin clan is your grandfather's only wish. Upon seeing Lin Dong's expression, Lin Xiao softly sighed. He was under the impression that Lin Dong was unwilling. Father, I understand. Lin Dong chuckled, although he did not know much about the Lin clan, and did not care much for them this was after all what the old man had worked all his life for. As his grandson, it was Lin Dong's duty to fulfill it. In addition, within the depths of the youngster's heart, 
he also clearly remembered the ridicule and mockery Lin Xiao and the rest had faced after suffering a crushing defeat at that clan gathering. Lin Dong hoped that one day, he would be able to stand on the same stage and use force to tell those bastards, that the son of that loser could still fearlessly stand here, no matter who his opponent may be. I will make sure Grandpa returns to the inner circle of the clan. The youngster pursed his lips, determination and confidence could be heard in his voice as he smiled. Furthermore, I will defeat that person. These last words were not spoken from his mouth, but instead, in his heart. Lin Dong lifted his head and gazed at his father's smiling expression before him. He knew that when that person had humiliatingly defeated and heavily injured his father, the look on this face was extremely painful. Lin Lang Tian, for my father, I will make you pay. The youngster lifted his head and deeply inhaled a breath of air. Perhaps, he would need to invest a lot to fulfill this desire, but, this youngster would not forget this grudge. Chapter 154, Blood Vermilion Devil Fruit After experiencing that hostile situation which had almost broken out into an all-out war, the entire Yan city seemed much quieter than before. Lin Dong had likewise become much more relaxed. Now, he finally no longer needed to busy himself with being a firefighter. Of course, though his days more leisurely, most of Lin Dong's time was spent on cultivation. Due to the fact that he had a breakthrough in mental energy to the third seal symbol master stage not long ago, it would be very difficult to greatly increase it again for a short period of time. Thus, Lin Dong spent most of his time on Yuan power cultivation. While he ceaselessly trained, his Yuan power progress was rather significant. Although he had yet to break through to the advanced Yuan Dan stage, Lin Dong could sense that he was already gradually reaching the peak of the initial Yuan Dan stage. To be capable of achieving this in two months was already rather good. Of course, during these two months, the last Yin Yang Pearl in Lin Dong's hands had been completely consumed by him. This item could truly be considered an outstanding Yuan power cultivation aid, unfortunately, it was too rare. Lin Dong had once asked Xian Su to help him purchase this kind of Yin Yang Pearl, however, it turned out an unsuccessful venture. If normal people obtained this kind of thing, who would so easily offer it up for sale? With regards to the Yin Yang Pearl being completely used up, Lin Dong could do nothing about it. Fortunately, he still had the elixir pills which were refined from grade 5 elixirs. Though they were not as effective as the Yin Yang Pearl, they were still rather decent. Of course, the effect of an elixir pill refined from a grade 6 elixir would be much better, however, grade 6 elixirs were rarely seen even in the Thousand Gold Association. This kind of elixir was highly sought after even by some perfect Yuan Dan stage practitioners and ordinary people also knew their worth. Thus, even if one possessed a grade 6 elixir, one would seldom put it out for sale. Therefore, over these two months, Lin Dong was unable to obtain even a single grade 6 elixir, and this also caused him to feel a little depressed. However, although he was unable to obtain a grade 6 elixir like he wanted, it could be said that though Lin Dong's cultivation speed was not like a rocket over these two months, it was still not bad. At this speed, successfully advancing to the advanced Yuan Dan stage was only a matter of time. Of course, if he was able to use grade 6 elixir pulls to sprint through that final stretch, that would naturally be the best. In the secluded small courtyard, Lin Dong once again slowly withdrew from a cultivation state. A whistle sounded out from his mouth as a red shadow quickly dashed into the small courtyard. Little Flame, bring these elixir pills to Ching Tan, you are not allowed to secretly eat them. As he gazed at the rather intimidating Little Flame in front of him, Lin Dong slightly smiled. The current little flame's strength had already far surpassed the limits of an ordinary fire python tiger. Under its scarlet fur, scales were slowly growing, an extremely bizarre sight. Lin Dong predicted that with little flame's current battle power, perhaps even an advanced Yuan Dan stage practitioner would be unable to easily deal with it. After all, now that it possessed that layer of armor-like scales hidden under its fur, both Little Flame's defense and offense had risen by a level. Growl. 
Little Flame opened its mouth wide and caught the bottle thrown by Lin Dong, before letting out a low discontented growl. Gluttonous thing! Upon seeing this, Lin Dong could not help but laugh as he flicked his finger and several elixir pills fell into Little Flame's mouth, a little irritated as he said, hurry up and go. After swallowing all the elixir pills into its body, Little Flame intimately rubbed its huge head against Lin Dong, before turning as it swiftly left. This guy is becoming more and more unlike a fire python tiger, as he gazed at Little Flame's flaming figure, Lin Dong helplessly shook his head. He had never heard of an ordinary fire python tiger possessing this level of intellect. Some variations have already appeared in this fire python tiger's blood, it should be because it had eaten that sky fire wyvern's demonic essence. The small marten once again appeared on Lin Dong's shoulder as it spoke in an indifferent manner. Skyfire Wyvern. After hearing this name, Lin Dong was a little taken aback. Soon after, he recalled the mysterious beast bones they had encountered in the within the mining load cave and asked, Is that guy really so powerful? Somewhat passable. Demonic beasts that can condense a demonic essence are equivalent to the humans who have reached the creation stage. These kind of demonic beasts also possess bloodlines and are have extremely high battle prowess. Humans of the same level will find it very difficult to beat them. The small Martin explained. Creation Stage Lin Dong was amazed, evidently, he had not expected that the beast bones had possessed such a frightening strength when it was alive. Grandpa had said that even the clan leader of the Lin clan was only at the creation stage right? Pythons, wyverns, and the other powerful dragons hold the balance of power in the demonic beast world. Among them, some are connected by bloodlines. Although the fire python tiger is considered as one of the lowest ranked, it had fortunately assimilated the sky fire wyvern's demonic essence. After that day, it grew especially ferocious, though, how far it would go would depend on its luck. Lin Dong nodded his head, it seemed that Little Flame was now somewhat special, in the future, he would nurture it properly. Maybe, it would have a super evolution someday, like a carp transforming into a dragon. The last batch of yin energy elixirs have been used up. Temporarily putting aside Little Flame, Lin Dong was silent for a while before he suddenly said, Recently, Qing Tan's yin energy outbreaks have become more and more frequent, plus, they seem to be more violent than before. This should be due to absorbing yin energy right. Over this period of time, Qing Tan's complexion had become sickly which was caused by the outbreak of yin energy in her body. Although Lin Dong was able to use the stone talisman to ease some of the pain, in the face of this constant torture, it was not a solution. Ah! Upon hearing this, the small Martin seemed to become a little awkward as it coughed and said, there is nothing that can be done about this, previously, I had forgotten to tell you that for someone with a terminus devil body like her, they would only gradually gain control over the terminus devil chi within their bodies after condensing a yin dan. However, before this, they will constantly suffer the backlash from the terminus devil chi, and maybe, they might even lose their minds, becoming human vegetables. Why didn't you say this earlier? After hearing this grave consequences, Lin Dong's expression finally changed as he furiously replied. What should I do? After Lin Dong furiously spoke out, he also calmed down. It was useless to say all this now, he needed to think of a solution. Find the items which are of yin attribute to speed up the rate at which her body condenses a yin dan. The small Martin quickly said. Items of yin nature. Lin Dong bitterly smiled. He had already spent all his effort just to find elixirs with yin properties. This items of yin nature were an even more mysterious and precious, once it appeared, countless people would fight over it. To obtain one would be easier said than done. Sigh, I'll first go to the Thousand Gold Association. They have many connections, perhaps, they might have an idea. Lin Dong softly sighed, without further ado. He walked out of the small courtyard before directly exiting the Lin family and swiftly traveling towards the Thousand Gold Association at the center of the city. As he walked through the extremely busy Yan city, Lin Dong's eyebrows suddenly furrowed a little. He could sense that there seemed to be quite a few foreigners, 
and most importantly, these foreigners were not weak. Although felt that this was a little strange, Lin Dong did not take it to heart. After all, Yan City was one of the great cities in the Tian Du province. An influx of a huge amount of foreigners would not be considered too strange. As he suppressed the thoughts in his heart, Lin Dong moved through a few streets before successfully reaching the Thousand Gold Auction House. Currently, he was considered as a notable person in Yan City, thus, once he entered the auction house, he was immediately respectfully led to the place Xian Su was at. Little brother Lin Dong, you are truly a dragon that only shows its head and never its tail, it seems like you only come and find me when you need elixirs, am I right? Within the study, Xian Su is stretched, revealing the curves of her body. She flirtatiously rolled her eyes at Lin Dong as she spoke in a displeased voice. Towards this beauty who was filled with grace and charm whether she smiled or frowned, Lin Dong could only let out a dry laugh, Big Sister Su, is there news about the grade 6 elixir? Xian so lightly snorted as an as expected expression was revealed on her face, before she sweetly smiled and nodded. Upon seeing this, the originally not very hopeful Lin Dong was first stunned before joy immediately surfaced on his face. This grade 6 elixir was originally going to be the key item in the auction this time, however, since you need it, after we discussed with the seller, we have directly bought it. Of course, it is not cheap. Xian Su chuckled as she spoke. While she was speaking, Xian Su's lily white hands lightly pressed a bell on the table. Immediately, a servant girl walked in while carrying a jade plate. Atop of the jade plate, was a red embroidered cloth, but even so, Lin Dong was still able to sense the potent and pure energy from within. The servant girl very carefully lifted the embroidered cloth, revealing an already opened jade box under it. A fist-sized dark red fruit, which was as round as a pearl, lay within. On the smooth and round surface of the fruit, natural veined patterns were faintly discernible, causing it to have a slightly mystical aura. At this dark red fruit's appearance, the entire room seemed to be filled with a delicate fragrance. Grade 6 Elixir, Blood Vermilion Devil Fruit As he stared at this fist-sized dark red fruit, the delight in Lin Dong's eyes grew, clearly, he was extremely satisfied with this item. Little brother Lin Dong, the price of this blood vermilion devil fruit has already reached 60,000 Yang Yuan stones. This is ten times the price of a common grade 5 elixir. To one side, Xian Su was all smiles as she said. I'll buy it. A grade 6 elixir was very important to the current Lin Dong, thus, he did not have a heartache at its exceedingly costly price. With a wave of his hand, he placed a Qunkin bag on the jade plate, while also taking the jade box. Oh, by the way, Big Sister Su, could I trouble you to help me look out for elixirs or special items which are yin in nature and let me know if you find one? After keeping the blood vermilion devil fruit, Lin Dong's expression turned serious as he said in a low voice. Yin nature. Upon hearing this, Xian Su's umber black eyebrows lightly knitted together. These things were not easy to find. Even if the Thousand Gold Association had enough resources to purchase it, items like this would very seldom make an appearance. However, after she thought about it for a while, she still agreed. In response, Lin Dong also sighed in relief. Just as he was about to take his leave, Xian Su suddenly smiled gently as she said, Little brother Lin Dong, do you know about the major event that had recently occurred in Tian Du region? After hearing these words, Lin Dong was stunned, he suddenly recalled the abrupt increase in foreigners within Yan City, and could not help but somewhat curiously ask. What happened? Chapter 155, The Old Tomb Upon seeing that Lin Dong was curiously inquiring, the corners of Xian Su's mouth slightly lifted. Soon after, she mysteriously said, Do you know of the, the mountain range in the vicinity of the few major cities? Skyflame Mountain Range? What has happened there? Lin Dong was a little astonished as he asked. Someone has found a tomb in Skyflame Mountain Range. Tomb? Whose? Lin Dong was startled, the discovery of a tomb was not an important news, 
he knew that crucial point was who the tomb belonged to. That tomb came from a rather ancient time period, however, it is said that it was left behind by a practitioner that had reached the nirvana stage. Xian Su's beautiful eyes swept one round around the room as she said in a low voice. Nirvana stage. After hearing these two simple words, Lin Dong was first stunned for a while before he fiercely inhaled a breath of cold air. Shock colored his eyes as he gazed at Xian Su and asked, How is that possible? Nirvana stage. Even in the entire Great Yan Empire, the ones who were able to advance to this level were extremely rare existences. All the Nirvana stage practitioners of the past were very renowned, how could a Nirvana stage practitioner's tomb suddenly appear today? It is indeed a little hard to imagine, however, this information should be true. My Thousand Gold Association has went through a good deal of channels and asked around. It seems like practically every practitioner in the entire Tian Dub province has come because of this. Plus, there are even people from the four great clans, Xian Su said. The four great clans, Lin Dong's eyelids twitched, as his facial expression turned serious. The tomb of a Nirvana stage practitioner was not an ordinary place. Any item left behind by that kind of practitioner would drive anyone into a craze. So that's why there have been quite a number of skilled practitioners arriving in Yan City recently. It's because of this. Lin Dong slowly nodded his head in realization. Little brother Lin Dong, if you are interested, you could check it out too. If you are fortunate, perhaps you could inherit the legacy left by that Nirvana stage practitioner. TCH TCH, at that time, it would truly be a carp leaping through the dragon's gate. Xian Su smiled as she said. A Nirvana stage practitioner's tomb. I am afraid that this fight is out of my reach. Lin Dong released a pained smile as he shook his head. Even though he was slightly famous in Yan City, he understood that the people fighting for the treasures in the old tomb would definitely all be elite practitioners famed throughout Tian Du province or even the great Yan Empire. Therefore, even if he went, he would likely be unable to reap much benefits. Oh, that's right, little brother Lin Dong Li, you mentioned that you required an object of Yan nature. Perhaps, inside that old tomb, the thing you desire, as if she suddenly recalled something, Xian Su muttered for a moment before she spoke. Oh. Extreme Yin Dragon Saliva. SSS. When he heard that name, Lin Dong involuntarily took in a deep breath in his heart. This old tomb really deserved its reputation. After all, it actually contained such a rare Yin object. If Qing Tan could obtain that item, she should be able to thoroughly rid herself of the torment caused by the yin energy. In fact, she may even succeed in forming an yin dan right away. However, this old tomb had attracted too many powerful practitioners. Therefore, it would be difficult to obtain this extreme yin dragon saliva. Thank you big sister Su. Lin Dong sighed in his heart as he thanked Xian Su. After discussing more about the old tomb for a while, he then bid her goodbye. Nirvana Stage After he exited the Thousand Gold Association, Lin Dong stared at the congested streets as he softly sighed. A practitioner at that stage still seemed like a distant goal for many and even himself. After all, once one reached that stage, he would effectively stand at the summit of this age. After all, even the clan leader of the Lin clan was merely at the creation stage. It's such a pity, Lin Dong sighed as he shook his head. He knew that if he could obtain anything from that old tomb, it would be extremely beneficial for him, however, now that this old tomb had drawn the attention of countless elite practitioners, it would probably be an uphill struggle. Ha, kid. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Don't give up so easily, just as Lin Dong was sighing, a voice suddenly rang out inside his mind. It was the small Martin. Lin Dong shook his head helplessly. He did not want to mix in these muddy waters. When a Nirvana stage practitioner dies, all the Yuan power inside his body will not so easily dissipate. Rather, as time passes by, it will gradually gather together. The end result represents the quintessence of a Nirvana stage practitioner's entire life and is called the Nirvana Heart. 
If an ordinary individual could obtain a nirvana heart, as long as he was somewhat capable, he would have the potential to reach the creation stage. However, for a talented individual, as long as he can endure that essence, reaching even the nirvana stage would not be impossible. Therefore, that item would be truly magical for you. Lin Dong footsteps gradually stopped as his heart was in upheaval. To think that there were actually such incredible things in this world. Though I cannot guarantee that there will be a nirvana heart inside the old tomb, it is still worth a try. Meanwhile, I can also use this opportunity to look for something to cultivate my demonic soul. The small Martin's final words revealed its ulterior motive, to which Lin Dong could only let out a bitter laugh, but, he did not immediately make a decision. Even though the allure of the old tomb was strong, it was still very risky. As if it knew what Lin Dong was mulling over, after it finished speaking, the small Martin quietened down. Heaving a sigh of relief, Lin Dong resumed his journey back to the Lin family. Over the next few days, Lin Dong did not travel outside. However, he still knew that there were increasingly more elite practitioners from all over Tiandub province arriving here daily. Meanwhile, News of the old tomb in Sky Flame Mountain Range was gradually spreading across the whole Yan city. In a secluded room, Lin Dong was seated on his bed. Right now, in his embrace, Ching Tan's tiny body was curled up like a kitten, as shockingly cold chi endlessly poured out from her body. Even though Lin Dong was already using the stone talisman to suck up the cold chi, Ching Tan's tiny face still looked exceptionally pale. It was a heartbreaking scene. Brother Lin Dong, I, am fine. Ching Tan's body continuously trembled, as her delicate and tiny hands tightly gripped onto Lin Dong's sleeve. Her fingers had turned white from the huge force she exerted. However, this little lass did not want Lin Dong to worry. Therefore, she endured the pain from the cold chi as it devoured her body, while she lifted her head and gave an extremely forced smile to Lin Dong. Lin Dong was silent as his hands gently caressed Ching Tan's icy cold hair. Moments later, a determined glint flashed in his eyes as he muttered to himself, Little girl, don't worry, I will find a way to completely relieve you of this torment. As if she heard Lin Dong's words, Ching Tan gently nodded her head. Then, as she slowly shut her eye, she immediately fell asleep from exhaustion. Lin Dong carried Ching Tan to her bed before he securely wrapped her with blankets. Only then did he very carefully leave the room. Lifting his head up, he exhaled a deep breath. He he, what's the matter? Are you finally planning to give it a go? On Lin Dong's shoulder, the small Martin appeared as it chuckled. To obtain the thing I want from within the old tomb would not be simple. Therefore, I may need your help. Lin Dong muttered. No problem. However, if we encounter something that can aid me in recovering my demonic soul, you must help me fight for it too. The small Martin said without the slightest hesitation. Deal. Lin Dong laughed as he nodded his head. Ever since it swallowed that demonic jade water python's demonic soul, the small Martin's strength was probably now enough to match up against a perfect Yuan Dan practitioner. Furthermore, with Lin Dong's abilities, their combined powers would allow them to not fear any opponents of the Yuan Dan stage. After he formed an alliance with the small Martin, Lin Dong felt slightly relieved. Closing the room door, he walked out of the small courtyard and headed towards the Lin family's training grounds. The Lin family's training grounds was mostly filled younger generation members, who were diligently training. When they saw Lin Dong walk over, Respect and admiration immediately filled everyone's eyes. Right now, Lin Dong's status in the family was exceedingly high. Furthermore, Lin Dong's was also personally teaching martial arts to other younger generation members. Therefore, this caused even more of them to respect him. Lin Dong smiled at the crowd before he sat down in the training ground. Soon after, a stream of younger generation members successively arrived and asked him for pointers. Lin Dong was fairly patient as he advised them. Due to the stone talisman, his understanding of martial arts was unparalleled in the Lin family. That was also the reason why Lin Zhentian and the rest had assigned him to be the martial arts instructor. 
As he coached them, two hours passed by rapidly. Lin Dong took a look at the sky, and just as he planned to get up, an amused laughter suddenly sounded out from nearby. Is this what has become of the Lin family? They actually hired such an immature kid to be their martial arts instructor. It's no wonder that even after so many years, they are still unable to return to the clan. This sudden laughter heated up the atmosphere in the training ground. Then, pairs of angry eyes turned to look in the direction of the laughter. Lin Dong's eyebrows likewise gently furrowed when he heard that voice. As he turned to look at the outskirts of the training grounds, his eyes slightly narrowed. Right now, at the edge of the training grounds, four well-dressed youngsters had unknowingly arrived. Smiles were plastered on their faces as they stared somewhat mockingly at the Lin family younger generation members. They seemed exceptionally frivolous as they commented among themselves. Lin Dong's eyes scanned across the four of them and suddenly paused at their chests. Sewed on their chests were two embroidered patterns. This pattern was not foreign to Lin Dong. He had seen it before on a shirt that Lin Zhentian treasured. Therefore, he clearly knew what this pattern represented. One of the four great clans of the Great Yan Dynasty, the Lin Clan.